Hi, Elevation Youth. My name is Gina McCauley, one of our central youth pastors, and we made it to 2024. Now we have so much that is coming up for you, so much that is planned this year. And even though it's so tempting to run full steam ahead into the new year, we've got to give 2023 its due. We've got to look back at where we've been and what God has done. Now, this isn't a pointless exercise. The Bible is actually full of passages where people looked back at God's faithfulness and those moments served to encourage and challenge God's people, getting their hopes and expectations up for what God would do next. So we're gonna take a lesson from them and catch a quick trip back to last year. What comes to mind when you think about 2023? Give yourself a minute to really reflect on that. Where were you 12 months ago? Who were you 12 months ago? Whether you know it or not, you grew a whole lot last year. For some of us, that might mean some physical growth, but more important than that is how we grew emotionally, mentally, and especially spiritually. You took on challenges, you dug in and got gritty, you made mistakes and learned from them, and you had successes that opened up new opportunities. Maybe you chose a word for 2023 and God showed up in a big way to meet your needs. Maybe you dug into our spiritual disciplines and saw your relationship with God reach new heights and depths. And chances are really good that all of us learned some incredibly important things about life, about ourselves, and about our faith. No matter which of those things you experienced, reflection is an important part and an important tool in our spiritual growth because we can't always see God's fingerprints in the moment. Seeing His work often takes the kind of perspective that only comes when we pause to look back. Sometimes it takes weeks to recognize His direction. Sometimes it takes months to understand His healing. And sometimes it can even take years to see His patterns of protection and provision. That's why we're gonna take this time to create a space where we can look back before we try to look forward. Because when we get our spirits full of the knowledge of how good God has been, it changes the way we look at everything that's ahead. It creates joy. It creates expectation. It creates confidence. Looking at who we were helps us understand who we are. And knowing who we are helps us get ready for who God is making us into. So let's spend one more time reflecting on 2023. What's up, youth? Welcome back for week two of the catalog. Now here's the deal, remember, we talked about the past last week. We reflected a lot, right? About where we've been, how good our God is. But you might be thinking now we're gonna talk about the future, but not just yet, okay? Before we do that, we cannot leave out the present. Who are you right now? Before we can progress, we've got to process, yeah. okay? Mm. Yep. And that means being very real yeah. on where things stand, yeah. yep. okay? We can find this to be very hard sometimes, right? right? This is something that's really healthy to do in the right way. So to help us see the right way, we brought some people right here, Jet, Sam, and John, to show us how it's done. So I got a few questions. Are you ready? ready. Let's go. I yes. Think they'll be, I think they'll be good. I think they'll answer them well. Here, here's, here's the first one. If you could pick one word, to describe yourself right now, all right? Like, how do you feel where you are in life right now? What would it be? Okay, I'll go. Um, mine is definitely overwhelmed. I have a lot of mis a lot of moving pieces right now. So okay. overwhelmed is mm. my word. All right. That's real. Yeah. That's real. I'll go a little bit more positive. <laughs> uh, grateful. Okay. I would say right now I feel very grateful. Wasn't always the case, uh, but I'm doing a better job of like, kind of seeing all the things that are, God has placed in front of me and truly taking the time to be grateful. Okay. Cool. That's good. Yeah, I think mine's in, kind of like in the in middle. The middle? Like, okay, okay, I, okay. I feel stretched. Um, Ooh, okay. okay. Ooh. And just like there's so many amazing things in front of me and just I want to make sure that I can steward it. Pastor Stephen preached a message a while ago called Harvest Problems yeah. Yeah. that really changed my perspective on how sometimes the things that we're stressing about mm. are the things we prayed for. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. so like being a parent, all that we get to do at the church, just everything else, I'm like keeping that mindset of like, I'm just being stretched okay. so You're I can hold it all. Really okay. All right. Funny. No, you were real. No, Sam, that, that, that was, was good. Real. That was good. I like Set that. It that was good. Off real. <laughs> that was good. I love it. 
I like that. So, okay, so we're going to talk about some things um, about how we're doing and some things that are going well, some things that maybe aren't going so well, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, that can happen in the stretching, mm-hmm. okay? Stretching oftentimes can feel like stressing. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. I think you talked like you about, about the break. That, okay? yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> so what would you say are some reasons that it is tough to be real, raw, open about the things that you struggle with or the things that you're going through? Mm. I think things look better at a distance. And when you get closer to things, Mm. then you start to see the flaws. So for me personally, I'd rather keep people at a distance so that they wouldn't see the actual struggles and, and flaws. Cause you know, at a distance things look a little bit better. Okay, that's interesting. I I tend to like I feel like it's a, for me, it's like I disassociate mm. with people. Yeah, yeah. Right? And I, 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 I want to ignore that and then I'm going to go do something on my own or I'm going to yeah. do it myself yeah. type thing. So that's interesting. I love that. Yeah. What about y'all? Yeah, I made me s- similar to Jet, but that people use it against you. Mm. Like okay. Even people sitting in e-group, you're like, if I say this, that's going to be the joke for the next two weeks. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And now I'm just trying to get used to this church, <laughs> but now they're going to use that thing yeah. I'm going through and they're going to clown really me. That's really real. Yeah, yeah. Even yeah. your real friends will do that. Yeah. 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 Okay. I think for me, females are big fixers. So mm. when I share things of vulnerability or like saying that I'm in realm, they're gonna come in and they're gonna give me all the tools on how to fix it. Mm. For me, I just need someone to listen to me. And so it's never been the, well, there has been cases where people actually just listen, but a lot of the times it's like, okay, they're gonna fix it for me and I don't need that in that space or that time. Okay. That's real. That is real. I love that. Okay. Now we set the table. Now it's kind of a little bit time for the meal. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're going, we're going to eat, right. okay? Our friends okay. have talked about how they would describe themselves right now and why it's hard to open up about stuff like this, okay? Very real, very honest, and I appreciate that. Now that we're going to talk a little bit about the things that they're struggling with, how they're thinking about their struggles and themselves, what it looks like actually to find strength in a struggle. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. One of the questions that I think would be helpful uh, for teenagers, even someone like uh, me, what is something that you're struggling with that you didn't think you would still be struggling mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. now? Yeah. That's real. Yeah. I mean, just like friendship drama. Okay. And I'll okay. say it that way. Mm-hmm. I think we say drama as if it's like a, a season or a part. I think what friendship drama is, it's just what having friends is. Yeah, it's the yeah. ups and downs of a relationship. Yeah. And like yeah. we expect from like a romantic relationship that it's going to take work, but sometimes we don't realize that's what all friendships oh, take. Yeah. And so yeah. I'm like, yeah. man, I, I'm still, we're still arguing about petty stuff. I'm like, no, that's just what it means to have friends. To work <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, to literally. Work yeah. 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 Okay. Now I'll pop off from that, John, making friends in general. I think mm, yeah. I expected being like a 22 year old, mm. like still kind of in college to like still have friends all around me. Mm. Building community is not always easy as you think it is. So that was kind of a bummer for me. Yeah. I think that kind of connects with like, like confidence. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, I think I thought when, I got older, mm. I would have a lot more confidence. Mm, I'd be, yeah. I'd feel a lot more secure. Yeah. Every decision that I made, yeah. yep, I yeah. knew it, and I had all the reasons why. Yeah. That hasn't happened quite yet. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So I think for me, I would, I would probably say confidence. And I think like going off of that, it's like confidence in who you really are. And I think for me, like I've growing up, I definitely struggled with like people's approval, mm. and I just always wanted to be what other people wanted me to be. Yeah. Uh, but going off what you're saying, like, yeah, I still, the, the temptation's still there. Yeah. I, I think there's always a temptation to be something that you're not, but mm. like the confidence in like, okay, no, this is who I am. And people actually end up liking you more for that. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, our pastor said one time, he said, don't get discouraged by the struggles you're facing right now, yeah. right? There's strength hidden inside yeah. for you, right? Yeah. There's, there's strength hidden there for you. What would you say... Um, what does it mean to find strength in a struggle for you, Mm -hmm. right? How have you found strength in these previous struggles? What strength do you think you could access in the struggles that you're facing right now? Mm -hmm. I think it's so important to have people around you and people older than you as mentors, like e-group leaders, like even now, because you get to learn, you get to cheat codes. You get to, they'll tell you, hey, that thing you're going through right now, Mm -hmm. actually made me so strong. And you can realize in the moment, oh, if it happened that way for them, Maybe I'm actually in a strengthening season, yep. even mm. though it's a struggle. There's a little bit of that ass- assurance, right? Yep. Yeah. But sometimes we can use that assurance as, sorry, puberty. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's a little bit of that assurance, right? That we're kind of looking for, but it's the wrong assurance. Yeah. 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 No, I just need you to assure me that I'm right. Yeah. 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 And that's yeah. not what you're talking about. No. You're talking about, no, 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 no. The assurance that, oh man, 
I'm not alone in this. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah. I right. think for me, it's the reflecting aspect of it of like, okay, I know I'm struggling with this right now, but look at what has happened behind me of like, I had good friendships back then that God provided for me then. So why is he not going to give me friendships later? Yeah. And right now, maybe it's just for me to develop myself and what I need to be and that I don't need 20 other friends around me to help me walk through whatever I'm walking through. So, yeah, so good. And I think it presents an opportunity like for me, approval, who am I? Well, now I have to answer the question, who really yeah, am I? Yeah. No better way t- to find that out than in God's word. And like, yep. who does God say that I am? What does he speak over me? And I think once we start to tap into that, it's something special. No, that, that that's so true. And I think hopefully this video is encouraging you, yeah. Uh, yeah. leaders, teenagers, middle schoolers, high schoolers, just to help you see that everyone struggles with something. Yep. Mm-hmm. And it's not really about whether or not if we're struggling or not, yep. right? It's it's about how we handle the struggle yeah, so and true. the strength that we find in that struggle. So keep that in mind as you go to your group and you yep. begin to digest this and talk about it more. Mm. What's up, Elevation Youth? It's your boy Cam here. I am the youth director over at our Elevation Matthews location, and I'm excited to hang out with y'all. I know y'all been rocking with us these past few weeks, and we started off this study by taking a look back specifically at 2023. We looked at that entire year. We looked at all of the crazy stuff, all of the moves of God that happened to really see what is God really up to? We took a look back to reflect. Now it's time to bring this little study to a close and we can get ready for what's next. We talked about then, we talked about now, but today I wanna talk about the future. I wanna talk to you guys today about what is happening next. All right, so here is the million dollar. In fact, I'm gonna make this question a billion dollar. This is the billion dollar question. Who are you going to be next? You see the path you're walking on right now is turning you into someone that with every step you take, you get to become a little bit closer to that next version of you, the future you, if you would like to put it that way. It might be someone that you have just carefully planned for. Man, I've been grinding to be this person since I was five years old. You've always dreamed about it. You've had vision for it. And you're just waiting for the day for you to say, that person is me. That person is me right now, today. Or you could be in the middle of this season right now and you're wondering, I don't really know what's gonna happen in my future. There's too many blanks for me to fill in and I really don't know where my life is kind of heading and I'm kind of just going through life day by day. And that's also okay. We wanna go ahead and figure out what our future looks like. But before we do that, I have to address the specific person. There's someone watching this right now as you're in your eager bezier at your youth night, thinking to yourself, the person that I'm becoming in the future is not someone that I'm looking forward to seeing. There may have been some values that you let go of. There may have been some bad choices, some bad decisions that you have made. And you're wishing that you can just turn the clock back and just make everything just different. But today I wanna let you guys know that no matter who you think of, whenever you look at your future yourself, I want you to tell yourself this, that's not me yet. That is not me yet. There are so many little decisions that you have to make and so many big ones that you have to make before you become that next version of yourself, before you become the future you. You see, the more opportunities you accept or ignore makes that future you that person. The more values that you embrace or reject makes that future you that person. The more disciplines that you adopt or you're like, no, I'm kind of good on it, I'm gonna neglect that one, will affect the future person that you are becoming. Every one of those decisions that we make has an impact, but it's not always easy to look at the decisions and think about what it might mean for us years down the road. But tonight, that's exactly what I want you guys to do. That's exactly where we're gonna tap into. With your e-group, with your e-group leader, we wanna figure out who the future me actually is. So let's ask the question one more time before you guys dig into this conversation. When you look at who you are now, who are you going to be next? Elevation Youth, I love you. Hope you guys have a great group and we'll see you soon.